Alright, I'm here with my Sony AM FM radio that I have, my little pocket radio that I have. And today I'm going to be showing you uh, how certain electronic devices can cause radio interference. Mainly on AM, but a little bit on FM too. Um, the three things I have to show in this video are my camcorder, my laptop, and this fluorescent light bulb. So we'll turn the radio on. Extend the antenna out. So the radio's on now. And we're gonna move it near my computer. Not sure all you can notice, but there was a little bit of crackling in the signal when I moved it close to the uh, um, laptop. There's only mother, or however that works. To Pharaoh to speak in your name. He has oh, so sweet, make me want to deliver to people at all. Of social media, I've been promoting and telling everybody to buy his new book, Jab Jab. <laughs> I'm this person here. Well, I need it close to the. Um, laptop. You can hear a big noise on the end of the signal. So on the... So there's almost no interference on the stronger stations. Like on a, the really strong FM stations, there's... Maybe a couple scratching sounds, but that's it. Um, but with weaker stations, it can introduce noise into the signal. And the really weak stations, it can completely block out the signal. Now let's move over here. We're here. The radio is a couple, like maybe a foot or so away from the light bulb and I turn it on no interference really let's go to a weaker station Not sure how you can notice, but I did hear a little bit of noise entering the signal. Yeah, just a very slight amount of noise going into the signal. Let's switch over to AM. And one thing, one thing you'll notice is if I put my camera close to the radio, a lot more whining enters the signal. If we put it here near the light bulb, we get a lot of interference in the signal. And no interference from the incandescent light. In the book of Exodus, Eric. 
sort of accomplishments that virtually all these uh, governors can point to. I mean, Texas uh, under uh, Rick Perry has been a lot of noise entering the city. Uh, Even about two feet Wisconsin away, there's still a slight amount of interference. Principle. And yeah, I think that the governors uh, certainly have a basis for talking Still a little bit of interference, and I'm like three, four feet away from the bulb. The problem, going back to what you should just suggested, is it's very difficult for a governor to get any kind of public elevation. Okay. Shut the light off. Now. Not too many people no know interference. Much about Scott Walker in Wisconsin or Bobby Jim Now, if I move this closer to the laptop. You can start to hear a bit of interference. Under recent rules, the like Republican this Party over here. favored the guy who didn't do so well the last time, the number two. We can trace that back several cycles. Is that true this time? And a person who's seen as a successor to Mr. Romney. So, does Ryan take the Romney poll position? He certainly doesn't look to me like Bob Dole. Completely or blocks John out the uh, he's more signal. Of a successor, uh, on, you know, policy terms to, and again, uh, I'll go over here. Kemp wing, Jack Kemp wing of the uh, Republican Party. And I think he's young enough to. Uh, compete with all of these other uh, people that we've mentioned. It doesn't look to me like this nomination... A pretty decent distance away from the bowl. The There's still interference. The longest time. Everyone here and again, is new, no interference from an incandescent. Uh, ...at least in terms of the American people, by and large. The question is, is the party going to achieve any kind of self-definition? Because there's... But uh, that's about it. For this video, just wanted to show you that real quick. Uh, I'm about to run out of battery life on the camcorder, but I just wanted to show you that. Um, how, if you like listening to the radio, you may want to consider shutting off certain devices in order to get the best possible reception, especially on AM. Like on FM, the laptop caused a little bit of interference, on the stronger stations, it would cause some scratching. On the weaker stations, it would introduce a lot of noise into the sound. And on some of the weak stations, the light bulb would also bring some interference in. And then on AM, of course, if this thing was anywhere near the bulb, there would be that annoying buzzing sound. And when you put it pretty much within 6 inches, 8 inches of the laptop, it would completely block out the signal. And even putting my camcorder near it would introduce whining into the signal. So uh, that's just something to consider whenever you're listening to the radio, especially on AM. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.